in Taiwan I was down to last to my last uh, <laughs> last uh, dollar yeah I'm sorry I don't have a lot of envelope just uh, take in case you need if you don't need you give it to other monk who need okay I don't mean to offend you no Please. with all my love yeah and care. Yeah, I really care for you. Ah, yeah, yeah. Then another husband, another. Tell them if they don't need, they can give to other ones who need. Yeah. I hope I have all the envelope. Rugo, push it out to get better. Okay, better husband. Okay. Today I just have some, so I don't always have. <laughs> I don't always have. Thank you. Uh, I don't have an envelope. Envelope, envelope is what I need, not the money. <laughs> envelope, come. Oh, okay. I, I go. I go. I go down. I go down. I go down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because um, every year we offer some gift to the monks, but we can't give everywhere. And just because the monks and nuns come here doesn't mean they are very rich, okay? Maybe there's, they're saving or anybody give them a little bit here and there and they save it to come here. Maybe they don't have. Just because they come here doesn't mean they have a lot of money. When I was in, in Taiwan, I went to take a precepts of the Pishuni, yeah? I don't have any more money. I was wearing Tibetan monk's robe, yeah? And I went to Taiwan to take the whole Bichuni's precepts, okay? And then, uh, actually, I have only one, that rope, and the bag, you know, the monk's bag, normally they carry it, that's it, that's all I had. And some money, of course, not much. And she sent me to the hotel. <laughs> At the moment, she doesn't know where I can stay, so she sent me to a hotel. And I can only pay one, one night and I have no more money. <laughs> Luckily, she found a Vietnamese temple and then she sent me there. <laughs> yeah. Good that I had enough money. Where are you? Where are you? Okay? Yes. Do you have anyone who is <laughs> talking to me? Yes. Do you have anyone who is talking to me? No. Okay. That's just me. Ah, you're okay. You're okay. I hope you're going to go to the school. Ruguerman, 
，到里面就要吃素的，不能带什么荤进去就好了。OK， 这些了啊，都教教育那个啊，释教委的人啊。师傅的教理已经非常完美了，就我呢就少说话，给他们提供力所能及的提供就可以了。好好，谢谢谢谢啊。不过也可以，如果他有外面的人来，可以教导他们一些，教他们吃素。最少教他们吃素 ，OK？ 好呀， yeah, 好，吃素呃，给大陆减少业障啊，要教他们吃素。五戒，这个是必须的，五戒啊，五戒，呵呵还有吃素呵呵，这样就行了啊，这对大陆很好啊。呃、啊、，I'm also Hindu monk, three tradition: Buddhist, Tibetan, and Hindu. I got initiated first. I got initiated with you, Master, and then I had the spiritual desire. Then I end up in Hare Krishna. Uh, so I came first to you. Yeah, whatever, don't worry. Whatever you like is good. Yes. So it's, it's I'm coming okay. back. No, never mind. Whatever you like is good as long as you follow the moral precepts. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to get more education, yeah, spiritual I, education, and transcendental. I understand. I understand. Yeah. yeah, because at that time you were not yet much enlightened, so you're still thirsty. You thinking maybe mm -hmm. this, maybe that. It's okay. You done nothing wrong. <laughs> it's good. I'm also Hindu monk, <laughs> a Hindu nun. My name is uh, Mandakiri Giri. I'm from Giri tradition. It's from the long. You know the the very ancient tradition from Giri. Okay, that's why. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, today I wear this to to tell you I'm a monk. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. It just happened. Yeah, it just happened to have it. Okay. They make many clothes for me and they make me a model. We feel more comfortable now. Model, model. We, we were. I'm just model. This is also our. We are not alone now. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm a model also. See all this makeup. Actually, this is another price to pay to do what I'm doing. You know, I have to wear high heels and stuff like that, uncomfortable. I have to do makeup, you know, it's a nuisance. I have to wear all kind of clothes. It also take up my time and, you understand, and jewelry. And look, I don't wear jewelry anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I do, just to advertise for new one, but I don't normally like anything. Even when I was young already, if I wear a watch or anything, I never like. And my mother gave me jewelry to wear because during the war, in case I lost, I still can sell to survive. I sell them all to <laughs> invite my friends to eat. <laughs> eat and drink coffee, stuff like that, when I was young. I can not wear things. I don't feel like. Yeah, it feels like something <laughs> bothering you. <laughs> Well, I do wear it sometimes. This is a price to pay, okay? Color, makeup, high heel, everything. It's just the way I have to do it. I don't like it. I don't really like it. Just kind of nuisance, you know. Take up time and make you a little bit more on edge because did I do it correctly? Is the lipstick go up to the nose or not? <laughs> Everywhere you go, you have to have mirror, lipsticks. Um, shoes, different color of clothes. Whoa. Who would like to do that? I don't see any master in the ancient time have to wear so much stuff, huh? Even modern time, no? Love her. Oh, ta. Oh, I have a girl. Okay, ta. Dao If you don't need, you give to other monks. It's no harm. Money is not very important, but in some cases, it's useful. It's useful, yes. But Taiwanese people are very kind. You know, when I first came, I had no money. And some of them also gave me some. <laughs> I didn't want to take, though, of course. I already, at that time, I stayed in the temple. I work, you know, work for food. <laughs> 
I, I clean and arrange the seats when people come, uh, you know, cook, whatever. Yeah. And I don't get any pay for that, <laughs> of course. I was looking for enlightenment, okay? And so I do anything at all. I clean the cars, whatever, for the master. Yeah. I did everything. Yeah. Yes. Okay then. Yeah. You want to hear some more demon? <laughs> oh, I have one more thousand left. <laughs> Just take it, put it in your pocket. <laughs> it can be useful. Maybe not to you, to someone else. Huh? Whatever, money can be used. So there were many kind of goals that you have heard from the Buddha. They might appear to look holy and they may repeat some of the, of the Buddha sutras. Especially in those times, it's not easy to get the real teaching from the Buddha. Then you just rely on whoever knows it and transmit it to you. So the ghosts can say anything. These kind of ghosts can say anything. They just uh, blah, blah on, you know, doesn't matter. That's why they lead people astray. That's why people become crazy or, you know, breaking all the precepts which is very important when you are still in this physical world. If you're not in the physical world, then maybe no precepts anymore necessary. Even the word precepts, you won't hear. Like in the fourth or the fifth word already, you hear nothing. You don't hear any negative word. Yes. And by the way, uh, we are all very, including myself, we are very, very habitual in speaking in negative term from today, from now on, you try to speak positively. Mm. You saw some of our programs showing the uh, the Japanese scientists he just tap some negative word even on the glass of water, and that water become murky. You have seen that? Yeah. If you have not, you see it, okay? You rewire it, you download it and look at it, okay? There's another reason, recently shown on TV, our TV. There's a lady who used inside power, Qigong power, to heal people, yeah? And when she asked somebody to put a hand like this, she asked him to, please raise your hand for me. And then normally, you know, American, they would say, yes, no problem. <laughs> but then, but then uh, we, because she say the word problem, her resistant power uh, diminished, you know, lessened. So she can, the, the teacher, that lady Qigong can push it down. But after that, she said, you rephrase it again, avoid the word problem. She said, I will do it. Okay, say, so please raise your hand for me. And the patient said, I will do it. And then that Qigong cannot push her down, cannot push the hand down. You see what I mean? It's all determined by you. You can, you will. Okay? You do. Huh? Will do. Just say will do, like that. Okay? Or something positive. Even say no problem. <laughs> it's a problem. Because the word imprint in your mind is the word problem. You see? Uh, yeah, you try to speak to each other. Sometimes the whatever word negative is imprinting you. If it's not cold, you don't have to wear a mask. People will think we're in hospital. <laughs> Last night it was cold, right? If you're sick, you wear it. It's not cold now, right? Today, so you don't have to wear a mask, okay? <laughs> Only when you're sick, you wear it so that you protect other people. I wear it also. When I was traveling before, I was sometimes also not well, yeah, have uh, some cold or something. I also wear the mask. And when I go to the airport, when they check my passport, I take it off. I say, it's me, sir, <laughs> officer, it's same in the passport. I just wear it to protect others. He said, okay, wear it, wear it back. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried to get sick. <laughs> of course, you know, when... When you're well, you feel better, right? Who would love to be unwell in any way at all? It's very uncomfortable. If your body is not normal or not healthy, you feel very, very uncomfortable. 
not to talk about when you are in retreat, yeah? You don't have all the things with you. Even if you have, you may not expect the weather to turn cold so fast. You live in a tent, and they arrange the tent two, three kilometers away somewhere, <laughs> just because the land is big. They want to spread you out, and then it's difficult to go back there to get when you already have to sit in your place or meditation time or whatever inconvenience. That's why I tell you to take good care and be prepared. This is really truly caring, you know. It's not just a talk to make you feel like I love you. It's not like that. It's really from my heart. Because I know I'm in a warm place, yeah? And I'm all cared for. I'm taking care of myself. I'm used to it, I know. And even if I need, I can always call God or anybody. They would run for me. I know that. But you cannot. You cannot just say, hey, Hoover, <laughs> I need a mask, man. <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah, or I need a, a blanket, anything like that. Or I need a hot pack. You have it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyone cold? Anyone has a little special cold? Uh, the nuns? Yeah? Sorry, they give me a lot to give away. <laughs> it's a work, you know. It's <laughs> anything they give me is work. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a potluck. <laughs> I don't need all this. I don't. I need maybe one. So, so you see, you see this, and you envy. Oh, master, God, greedy, you must have a lot of. Work. We don't have any. But I told them to give you some. No, each one should have one. Uh, last only one day, right? <laughs> they should give every day, but maybe they cannot. Maybe they cannot because we bought all of them already, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all the winter stocks. Uh, it's okay if I don't go to serious business. Yeah, you like to hear something, anything. Anything is told with love is fine. Yeah? Okay. You all right being a nun? How you have money, travel? How do you have money? Guru Maharaj. Guru? Arrange him to pay for me. Oh, wow. For the last part of the journey, five, the, six years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Everywhere you go, he pay for you. Yeah. Man, you better meditate more. No, it more. was by Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj arranged that for me. Yeah, but you better meditate it more. It my decision. Huh? I know that, decision. I know that. And you say you come to see Master Ching Hai? And he gave you money, both of you? Since I met him, I wanted him to come uh -huh. to see you. So you it took five years for him to get initiated. <laughs> you better meditate well and dedicate some of this to your Maharaji. I did go this summer to see the ashram. But Guru Maharaj left two, two years ago. Oh, you did? And yeah. now he's still paying for you? Man, bless him. <laughs> he made this arrangement. Bless your Guru Maharaj. And you stay in a good tempo? Everything okay there? Yeah, good, good. Then I'm glad. Then I don't have to worry for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Very good. <laughs> I wish I have had that Guru Maharaj when That's I was... That's what I was saying today. The, <laughs> like, not everybody has that arrangement. Yeah. Uh, you're lucky, yeah? <laughs> you're lucky. Good, good. Maybe you earn it, okay? Yes. Somehow. Thank you, both of you. Thank you, Master. Pray for your Master, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, all the time. I'm Dedicate telling. some merit to him. Mm -hmm. Bless him. Thank you, Master.